What do you want people to learn? Um, I want people to learn that um, Tourette's is neuro is a neurological involuntary motor and vocal disorder. <laughs> f off, f off, f off. Um, I don't tick twenty four seven, and there's a lot of <laughs> little baby weenies. F off. You, Chris, there's a lot of things that people don't understand. Like, oof, people think that cussing is in, is with everyone who has Tourette syndrome, but it's only in 10% of people with Tourette's. <laughs> yourself, Chris, little baby weenie, blam up your ass, on your own biscuit, fat ass, that have told me that my parents deserved to die in a car accident because I'm faking my condition. Well, Balin, it's good to meet you. It's good to meet you too. Hi. So, You're how, bald. how do you feel about being here today? I'm excited. Yeah. I'm excited to show people how I live and that it's real. I live like this every day. F you. Um, and then I'm, I'm here to spread awareness about what I deal with. People think that this TikToker is faking Tourette's for views. So basically, this TikToker posts a lot of content showing off their tics. I'll show you one of those tics real quick. I do not. You're done. You're done. I do not. Now, after seeing her tics, a lot of people think that she's faking. Like, this person basically said that if you go through her old content, you can see that she's faking. Now, if you watch her new videos, it doesn't seem like she can go long without having a tic. But if you go through her older content, there doesn't seem to be any sign whatsoever that she has Tourette's. So do you guys think she's telling the truth or do you think she's faking? There's been a rise in symptoms of Tourette syndrome, mostly among teen girls. And the social media app TikTok might be to blame. Hard to kind of imagine the connection here, but Wall Street Journal researchers found many of the girls reporting new tics shared an interest in watching TikTok videos from influencers with Tourette's. Tourette's syndrome is a neurological disorder that tends to affect boys more often than girls. But doctors are now seeing more teen girls with these types of tics. One day your child is healthy and then the next day the next day she had tics. Tics are involuntary sounds, actions, or twitching. Joey first realized she was struggling with them when she saw them on social media. Really as soon as I got them, because I knew what they were from social media, and so when they were happening, I was like, oh, this is a thing. To us, there is no greater duty than reporting the truth and fighting back against the corrupt corporate news narratives that are poisoning our country. For us to continue to be the largest independent creator of no-nonsense, objective, conservative news content on the web, we need your help. The help of you and patriots exactly like you. We can do this.